We are now in the territory of Dmanisi Nakalakari, the ruined city of Dmanisi. It can be said without exaggeration that this is a unique site where medieval history and very early epochs converge. Dmanisi is currently a particularly significant scientific center, where excavations are carried out each year with the participation of scholars and students from all over the world. This is the place that introduced Georgia onto the world map as the motherland of the first Europeans. Here we have a ruined medieval city, remains from the Bronze Age, and most significantly, a prehistoric monument. It should be noted that its discovery is related to pits like these, which in the Middle Ages were agricultural pits. The bones that enabled scientists to determine the geological age of Tmanisi were found precisely in these pits. Mr. Abesalum Vekua, a well-known paleontologist, discovered a rhinoceros tooth among these bones in 1983. Since then, it has been established that the geological layers of Tmanisi, lying underneath the ruined city from the Middle Ages, date back at least a million years. With no exaggeration, Tmanisi is a truly special place. It is a time capsule, as far as I can say. Nowhere else in the world have so many hominid remains been found in a single layer of a monument from this era. This is a copy of a 1.8 million year old hominid jaw that was found at Dmanisi and which caused a lot of debate among scientists. The hominids discovered at Dmanisi are extremely primitive and exhibit traits that have so far only been observed in Africa, proving that the hypothesis of our team, led by Leo Kabunia, was correct. Georgia is home to the oldest and most primal fossils discovered outside of Africa. This is a skull found at the site. It is a copy of a 1.8 million year old hominid skull that was discovered at Manisi. You can observe how well preserved each component is. Such well preserved remnants from that era had never before been discovered. This is the earliest remnant of hominid history in Eurasia, which until recently was thought to date back about a million years. The Demanisi discoveries have almost doubled this. What we found in Demanisi is that their average brain volume was about 600 cubic centimeters, while modern humans possess almost 1500 cubic centimeters of brain matter. In addition, in Demanisi we can notice the first signs of empathy among hominids. Their social interaction, that's to say, their behavior. I want to say that we were very lucky. Such discoveries happen only once in decades. Manisi Nakalakari represents a chronicle of our history. In the Middle Ages, the Manisi was one of the most important cities, second only to Tbilisi. It may be claimed that this was one of the branches of the Silk Road, since it had strategic, political and economic functions. Nakalakari possessed true city planning. It had a religious center. The church, which is naturally defended on three sides, dates back to the 7th century. The system of fortification is seen underneath. It should be noted that Dmanisi was home to a variety of workshops, one of which served as the first factory for minting coins. As such, 
Throughout the Middle Ages, one of the major mints were located in Dmanisi. After the 17th, 18th centuries, the city was no longer inhabited, and we only saw Dmanisi rise to prominence again in 1936-37, when Levan Muschelishvili conducted the first excavations. <laughs> 